The conflict between the Russian Ministry of Defense and Wagner Group leader Evgeny Prigozhin likely reached its climax against the backdrop of the Battle of Bakhmut, the Institute for the Study of War says. The Russian Ministry of Defense is likely seizing the opportunity to deliberately expand both elite and convict Wagner forces in Bakhmut in an effort to weaken Prigozhin and derail his ambitions for greater influence in the Kremlin. Prigozhin had been able to grow his force by 40,000 convicts, likely with the Kremlin's permission to recruit in prison in 2022, but lost that permission and access to that manpower pool at the beginning of this year. Now, the UK Defence Ministry adds about half of the prisoners Wagner has already deployed in Ukraine have likely become casualties. If the ban endures, Prigozhin will likely be forced to reduce the scale or intensity of Wagner operations in Ukraine. He has already threatened to withdraw Wagner forces from Bakhmut and insinuated that the Russian Ministry of Defense used Wagner to bear the brunt of the high-intensity attritional urban warfare to seize Bakhmut in order to conserve Russian conventional forces. Russian forces have continued their offensive operations near Bakhmut, but have not completed the turning movement, envelopment or encirclement around the city. Wagner Group fighters are likely becoming increasingly pinned in urban areas, such as the Azom industrial complex, and are therefore finding it difficult to make significant advances. The Institute for the Study of War says Putin had ultimately allowed the Russian Ministry of Defense to retake control of the Bakhmut direction from Prigozhin in January as Wagner forces failed to deliver the promised victory over Bakhmut by the end of 2022.